I just got me a beaver. We got 99 problems, but a beaver ain't one. These beavers have been destroying this dike right here. The landowner said if we see a beaver, shoot it over a deer. We got a beaver catch, clean, and cook. <laughs> what you think about that? I'm excited. We didn't even scare the deer off. All right, y'all, we didn't know we were gonna do a beaver video, but a beaver video is what y'all are getting. We're gonna get it out of the water right now, take it back, clean it, come back tomorrow, and show y'all the pure devastation these things cause. All right, y'all, look at the beaver. Leave it to beaver. He's all muddy. He was flipping and flopping. God, this Georgia mud is slippery. Here's my first beaver. He's grabbing. Beaver! Oh, the children's heavy! The landowner's going to be happy. Let's take him up here on the hill. Look at his teeth, though. <laughs> Hi, right, y'all. Let's. I'm going to just show you right here. I've walked eight feet from where I shot it. Look what they do to the trees. They don't even chew all of them. They'll come. Look where they started right here. Yeah. They'll kill the tree and then not do anything with it. See? Look how big this tree is. They have no shame in their game. So we know this footage is horrible. We're going to take it back to the shop where y'all can see it much better. Clean it up and we're going to be cooking grilled beaver tail. I hope I don't have demon eyes. <laughs> what about it? I'm excited to try it. Yes. Just wait to see my 10 pointer pole. Hey. What? You remember how you told me all those things were ruining your dike? Mm -hmm. And you said shoot on site? Shoot on site. Guess what I got? What did you get? Jake, we're eating beaver for dinner tonight. And colon bug, is that? Colon buck, he's a col is he a colon like got colon? <laughs> yeah. Or a col buck? Col buck. Alright, look at his beaver. Hey, when you tell me to do something, I do it. <laughs> check it, check out the beaver. That's a good one. Pick him up by the tail so we can get some good comparison. Right. <laughs> you said you wanted beaver tail for dinner. We got it. I swear. All right, let's go find Jake's buck. That hey, buck was hey. ten point, hey. ten pointer. Yeah. Did you find blood? There was. He went to look for blood. He said there's blood everywhere. Are you serious? Huh? <laughs> are you serious? Yeah. I, I didn't go. He now, shot. Now, are you sure Mr. Mike didn't shoot and is just telling me that you shot? Uh-uh. Who shot? I All right. That's we're obvious. We're going to go find him. Because I was in the shooting So, here. we're having backstrap <laughs> and beaver? Mm-hmm. All right. Let's go. Luke, come here. I have something to show you. What? Come here. <laughs> Look at, look at what I got in the truck. What is that? What is it? Look, see his tail? Look That's at his tail. Is. is it a beaver? Yeah. Yeah. How come you killed a beaver? I keep getting mixed mi 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 <laughs> How up. How come like... you shot a, be a beaver? Because he was... I need a spider. Come here, Luke. Look at his teeth. They look like mine. Have you ever, did, have you ever seen a beaver? They kind of look like mine. No. I never. Are you excited to eat some beaver? Yeah. All right, we're going to clean this thing up so you all can actually see what it is. It's absolutely covered in mud. Yes. Now, have you ever cleaned a beaver? Never. Yes. Me neither. We might have to YouTube this. <laughs> Luke, do you want to barbecue him or fry him? Fry him. Fry him with grits. Look at the shanks on that thing. Size of my two I'm gonna go ahead and consider him a trophy. <laughs> what about you, Luke? You think he's a trophy? Yeah. It's barbecued beaver tail for dinner it. tonight, boys. Look at his teeth and look at mine. Now give us your honest opinion. Do you think you killed the buck? Yes, there was. Yeah, a, look at mine. A large amount of blood. Son. Yeah. <laughs> if he was missing a front tooth, he'd look just like you, Luke. You think All right, y'all. They're making fun of me because of my feet. 
Look at look at those beautiful things. <laughs> Women pay a lot of money for mud baths or mud masks. <laughs> Don't they, Jake? Yeah. <laughs> How'd you like my uh did you ever think you'd be eating beaver text? Mm, um, no. You didn't like it? <laughs> there's no there's no fleas in that beaver. There's no what? There's no fleas in that beaver in no that fleas? beaver. No ticks either. No ticks, no fleas. Alright y'all, it's the next morning. We got to get to cooking. Everything that I've seen is this is the best part right here. I said it tastes like beef. I know it looks good. So we're gonna get this thing boiling for a couple hours. Then I'm gonna go show you all the beaver den. We're gonna cook a little bit of this tail. Just trim a little bit of the skin off of it. We're only gonna cook about that much of it. That's what we're eating. Come on. All right, so we got us a little cast iron skillet on the fire. Water's boiling. Just gonna set it in there. Gonna take some of the can cooker original. All right, we're gonna put this on here for two hours, two and a half hours. Let it get nice and tender. Now we're going to head over to the lake and show you all the beaver dam and the destruction these things do. We'll see you all in a second. What's up, guys? I just had to jump in here for a second. Now, if you watched Jake's deer video from two days ago, you've already seen me do this right here at the same place. I messed up, though, when I said the promo code. You get When you use Blue Gabe as a promo code, you get free shipping off $100 purchases or more, not 10% off. They're a brand new company. They just started. They're already so much cheaper than everybody else. So this is the jacket that I wore pretty much the whole entire time this weekend. It's what I would like to say it's the bow season jacket or the early season gun season. It's got perfect pockets for cell phones, range finders, perfect pockets here for your hands. Lightweight, windproof, waterproof. The technology on this stuff is second to none. Now heavy duty gear, this jacket, when I go back to Georgia in two days, it's supposed to be 20 degrees. It's the same exact jacket as the lightweight one, except super heavy. It's going to keep you warm no matter what. Pockets, pockets, big pockets, pockets inside. Now, the technology these jackets have is that they block the wind and the rain. And I don't know about y'all, but wind will freeze your butt. You would think rain's a bad thing, but wind's a bad thing. Heavy-duty pants, pockets, super light. You can draw your bow back, not make any noise. Their long johns are the most comfortable things I've ever put on. Hoodies. Hats, neck guards, I mean, hey, go check out Teeson's. If you guys like to see what we wear, this is what we wear. Now back to the video. What's up everybody, Blue Gabe here. Yep, that's Dad. beaver that I put in a pot. We got Dad, Luke joining us. Dad, I just saw a beaver jump in the water. <laughs> Anyhow, it's the next day. We came back here to show you exactly what kind of devastation these beavers cause and why we take them out when we get the chance. These beavers have destroyed the woods around here. But if you look over my shoulder, that's where we were trying to kill the deer at last night. Mike, the leasee, told us bring the 22. If you see a beaver in the pond, take it out. That's what we did. It worked out flawlessly. We saw a few deer, but hey, we made the best of it. Now we got some good beaver meat to eat, which is obviously cooking because you've already seen that part. So let's get down, show you all this big beaver dam, show you the trees that they cut down in the woods. It's insane how big of a tree they will cut down. Luke, you want to go see some beaver action? Yeah. Let's go. All right, so last night when we shot the beaver out there in the middle of the pond, fortunately for me, he worked his way all the way over here to the bank, but you couldn't see it because of these limbs right here. Right there last night is where we ended up getting him. He washed up on the bank. It was perfect. I didn't even have to get too muddy. All right, so right here is one of the main things that these beavers do that's causing the most damage. Look at this hole. Looky, don't fall in there. I'll get a flashlight in a minute and show you all. Looky, look at this beaver nest. How big is this? Dad, look at this one. Dad, look at this one. 
So you can see right here where they drag the mud all up in here. They'll build this huge pile with sticks and then they'll get mud out of the pond and pack it on there. Have you ever seen a beaver dam before, Jake? I have, it's just... Well, I guess this ain't a beaver dam. This is a beaver den, a den. A dam would be where they were blocking a river. This is a den where they're actually living in it. So if you can see, that's as big as my hand. They cut these pine trees off like they're butter. Look at this one. A beaver literally can cut a tree down that's bigger around than he is, and they're pretty fat. There's all throughout these woods. Look at all this beaver poop. That's cow poop. All throughout these woods, there's trees just laid over on top of laid over on top of laid over. Let's go right over here and look. Look at all these big pines. Yeah, where they chewed on them. It goes that one there. Walk, walk there. See where they, th this tree's four foot across and see where they tried to chew it? But all they'll end up doing is killing it. And that's horrible because that tree, I bet you this tree's a hundred years old. Daddy, Loki, get down there and see if you can't chew on that tree. Dad, look, this see if you can bite it like a beaver. Look, there's a skeleton bug. Yeah. And they do it to every single tree around. They kill everything. Now, he had these beavers killed off last year and they're already back. They multiply like flies. So you gotta keep them under control. So look at this one. This is insane. This is a really big tree. And they've got it whittled all the way around. Look at that. Where'd you find? Over there, a Gatorade bottle. A glass Gatorade bottle? Look yes. what I found, a skeleton bug. Yeah. Everybody's finding neat things. Wow. All right, so right here is one of their big main tunnels where they'll drag their food in. They use some of the trees to build their den and then they eat some of the parts of the branches and the leaves and stuff right here. Let me show you down here. Look at that. And it goes all the way up in there. I know you probably can't see, but look at that. That cave goes all up underneath this dike. And what's gonna happen is this dike's gonna blow out. And that's gonna cause serious issues. So there's several houses yeah, that are just yeah, down here. Look at this one. Yeah. That was cool. Look at that. That's a big old hole, ain't it? Yeah, it looks like maybe we can go in that one too. Yeah. That's crazy. I found another hole. Look how much damage they cause. Now look, this is right dead in the middle of the road. There's a few houses that are right down this drain that if this pond was to bust, those houses are getting toast. So it's important that we kill these beavers and get them off of this dike. All right, so I think I showed you enough of the beaver dam. Check out this red Jeep little thingamajigger. Where'd you get this thing from? Coleman, Alabama. Look at that crazy little gadget. He's got a corn feeder on the front. So they can just drive around and sling the corn out in the road. Big old light bar. He's got a winch in the back to drag deer in. That beaver was so big we almost had to use the winch for it. All right, now let's head back to the cabin to cook some of this good beaver. All right, so the beaver is done. We're doing swamp cabbage too, hence the reason there was swamp cabbage in the thumbnail. But we're not doing it deer meat for dinner style, we're doing it Mike Worley style. He does his a little bit different. We're about to show you all how it's done. I myself have only ever tasted swamp cabbage maybe twice. Never cooked it, so he doesn't talk very much. So you got headphones, plug them in, play you some music, and enjoy. All right, come on, show us how to do it real quick. Take your bacon. Now he's gonna render that bacon down to get all the grease and the oil out of it. Then he's gonna slowly start adding swamp cabbage and his seasonings to it, stir it all up, get it all nice and blended, then add the water. All right, what's next? Start cut it in the pot. Cut it until it feel, you feel resistance and you gotta take another layer off.
I'm gonna get this beaver out, put it on the cutting board, cut some of the fat off, and then we're putting it on the Traeger grill. All right, so while we're sitting here doing this, I just realized I never even told y'all what this is. This is wild swamp cabbage from a cabbage palm tree down in South Florida that he went out and cut. I didn't show y'all any of this because this wasn't meant to be a swamp cabbage video. This is just what we eat from down in the South. Or this is what they eat. I don't eat it that much just because it's not something that I do. My grandpa used to do it back in the early 20s, so it's been in my family my entire life and my parents' entire life, but swamp cabbage. I'll put a little clip in and show you the exact tree that it came from, but I figured I had to tell y'all what it was. That's hot. Look at that. Look how that fat just peels right off. I can already tell y'all this is going to be good. And prior to cooking this, I never would have thought I'd ever eat beaver in my life. Well, I guess I can't really say that, but... Look how tender that is. I'm telling you, we should be putting this right in that swamp cabbage. Like a ham hawk. Except for it to be a beaver hawk. Leave a comment below if you've ever ate beaver and tell me how you've cooked it. Come here, Jake. All right. <laughs> it tastes like beef. You cannot tell it's not beef. Period. There's no reason to put it on anything. All right, come here, Marcy, and get you a piece of this beaver. Yep. Come here, Chasey. Just pull off a little sliver. It peels right off. Tastes good. It's actually really good. Since it tastes just <laughs> like, I've been trying to cook roast beef like that forever that and can't really get it done. Good. Yeah, that's good. I guarantee you, you won't throw no more beavers away. <laughs> Come here and try it. I tried that. That's good. I need another piece of that. Come on. It's like beef. I know. So good. What in the world? I never, ever, 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 ever would have guessed that that would taste like that. Like, I've been trying to master a pot roast forever and can't. I just did it my first try ever with beaver. Put it in a pot with pond water and a beaver tail and just made some of the best pot roast I've ever had. Jake. Yeah? What do you think? That tastes so good. Yeah, like not even exaggerating, that's so good. It's basically... So I can tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to make me a pot of that swamp cabbage and just put some of that in there. I love a Traeger grill. I don't mind cooking on one. It's my favorite grill ever, but I'm not doing that. I'm putting that right in my swamp cabbage. All right, so here's the interesting piece, is the tail. That tail's tough because this knife's sharp as a razor blade. Look at how thick the fat is on that thing. Now they did say that this section was really rich. I'm not sure if that looks near as appealing. Like I ain't even sure I'm trying that. That's all fat. Mm -mm. Smell that Jake. It smells like that, but it's just it a It don't much look meat. like that. It doesn't look like it at all. Y'all, I'm not super excited about this tail. I don't even think I'm trying it. It's just a big fat gelatin ball. So we're going to stick with that. Let's gather. I bet you this would be really good for a dog, though. It's full of minerals and stuff and oils and vitamins, I bet you. Yuck. That's a no on the tail. All right, so there's that's the section above his like hips to the end of his tail. So there's where his tail starts and this is where his hips start. Look at all that meat. That's a good pound and a half of meat. I'm just going through here picking out a little bit of the fat because I'm sure the fat's where the gaminess is. As soon as this swamp cabbage is done, we're ready to eat. I am not huge into eating weird things. That ain't nothing weird about beaver. Look in here. Alright y'all, that's a wrap. We've been cleaning up. 
it's been cooking. That's the swamp cabbage. Now we're going to come over here. Don't mind the honeybees. They're bad. Take a little bit of, look at that beaver meat. You could not tell that this ain't like pulled pork or anything like that. Oh, there's a bee right in there. Get it. Get it. These bees were so bad in Colorado that you couldn't even clean the elk. Look at that. Oh, that looks good. Let me try it. All right, now we're not going to do a full course meal. Me and the boys got to pack up and head home. Jake and Luke haven't been in school. They got to be in school Wednesday morning, so I'm going to taste it real quick. I've not ate much swamp cabbage at all. Mmm. Mm Chase, are you going to try some? That is sure enough good. Look at that. What a combination. That beaver tastes identical to any good pot roast or anything that you would do, like pulled pork, any of that. You could not tell that that was beaver. But right now, we're getting ready to head home. We've got an eight-hour drive. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. But right now, we're getting to what? We're getting out of shape.